there beauty and welcome back to Reese's Kitchen. So today I will be making some creamy and cheesy mac and cheese. So here I've got about three cups of macaroni and about one cup of red Leicester cheese. And I will be using at least one cup of mozzarella cheese and one cup of mature grated um, cheddar cheese also. And to make my roux, I'll be using about two tablespoons of melted butter and two tablespoons of plain flour and two tins of evaporative milk so let's jump straight into it so first i'll be adding about a teaspoon of salt to my boiling water and then i'm gonna go in and add three cups of macaroni mix that in and allow this to cook for about 10 minutes before putting it aside to cool down you can go in occasionally to stir your pasta this is to avoid it from sticking to the bottom of the pot so after melting your butter you then go in with your two tablespoons of plain flour and just whisk away keep whisking because you don't want this to burn and stick to the bottom of the pot so i'm gonna whisk this for about two minutes before i gradually add my milk so now i'm just gonna gradually add my milk whilst whisking that's to enable me from making my cheese sauce lumpy. You don't want lumpy cheese sauce. You want it to be a smooth consistency to spread over your macaroni. So keep whisking whilst you add your milk. You want to make sure that you make your cheese sauce on medium heat and keep whisking as i said before while you gradually add your milk this will stop your cheese sauce from burning so after i've added my two tins of evaporated milk i'm gonna go in with half cup of red leicester cheese and i'm gonna save the rest to add to my top and this is half cup of mozzarella cheese and half cup of cheddar mature cheddar cheese so i'm just going to add that to my milk and mix that in or whisk that in look at that already yummy And at this stage, I also like to season my cheese sauce a bit. So I will go in with some grounded black pepper. Not too much though. And about half teaspoon of aromat. and half teaspoon of paprika this is more for color than anything then i'm just gonna mix that in So it took me about 10 minutes to get my cheese sauce the way I wanted it to be. It's not too thick, as you can see. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my macaroni. So now I'll be adding my macaroni to my sauce. So this is what you're looking for. Look at 
look at all that creaminess. Now I'm gonna transfer my macaroni and cheese to a baking tray and put it in my preheated oven. I've preheated my oven at 180 degrees. So after putting in my mac and cheese, I'm gonna allow it to cook in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes and then it will be finished. So now I'm just gonna go in and add my cheese mixture. This is a mixture of the cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese and red leicester cheese well the red leicester is here so I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over until it's all covered and cheese with the top layer of cheese <laughs> make sure there's no macaroni peeping through you want it all to be covered from corner to corner now I'm gonna place it in the oven as I said for about 20 25 minutes I'm gonna place it in the middle um, uncovered as well and allow it to cook through so this is how it looks after being in the oven for about 20 minutes nice and golden i really do hope you guys enjoy watching this video thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you try out this recipe until next time take care and god bless